one of the functions of the floor plan is to show the location of the exterior and interior walls. In this exercise, you will locate the vertical, the vertical wall to the left and to the right of the floor plan, as well as the horizontal walls above and below. These dimensions will be used to locate the exterior walls for the project. In order to start laying out the exterior walls in the project browser, we will need to make sure that we're on the finished floor one floor plan level. In order to activate the finished floor one floor plan level, we need to double click on it in the project browser. This will take you to the finished floor one view. To start to lay out the exterior walls for the Essex project, in our tabs, we will need to select the architecture tab. In the build section of the ribbon, we will need to select the wall tool. In the properties, we will need to make sure that we select our basic wall exterior four inch brick wall. In the properties for this wall, you will need to make sure that your base constraint is set to finish floor one. The base constraint is the bottom of the wall. We want the bottom of the wall to start at finish floor one. The wall will go up to, in our top constraint, the wall goes up to finish ceiling one. If you recall, these are the horizontal datums or the levels that you created. This line represents the finished floor one. And this line represents the finished ceiling. So our Exterior wall will go from the base constraint or the finished floor one and it will go up to the top constraint which is finished ceiling one. After making those selections in the properties box, you will click on apply. If you look at the floor plan in your construction documents, you will realize that the floor plan takes on a rectangular shape. The distance between the two vertical exterior walls, we will use a distance of 36 feet. That is going from the outside stud to the outside stud. For the distance between the two horizontal walls, the horizontal wall at the top and the bottom, we will use a distance of 24 feet. Again, this is going from the outside of the stud to the outside of the stud. To create the exterior walls in our modify or place wall tab, Inside of the ribbon, you should have a draw section of the ribbon. Since the exterior walls take on a rectangular shape, in this case, we can use the rectangle tool to draw our walls. So select the rectangle tool, bring your cursor inside of the elevation points, We'll click, uh, do a left mouse button click to create the first corner. 
and we'll drag the walls out close to the dimensions that we need. And the dimensions that we need is the distance between the two vertical walls is 36 feet and the distance between the two horizontal walls at the top and bottom is 24 feet. So we can get close to those dimensions without actually having it to be exact and we'll go back in and modify it. So we do a left mouse button click to establish the other corner of the rectangle and click on the modify tool to end the command. After laying out the exterior walls, you will need to make sure that the exterior material, in this case the brick, is on the outside of the wall. One way to do this would be to take your cursor and select one of your walls. The double arrows that appear indicate the exterior side of the wall. In this case, our exterior material, or the brick, is on the inside. This actually should be, the brick should actually be on the outside. In order to flip this wall, we will need to click on the double arrows to change the wall orientation. So select the double arrows. If your exterior material is on the inside of the structure, select the double arrows to make sure that it is on the outside. You will need to do this check for each wall to make sure that the double arrows are outside of the structure. So now all of the exterior walls, the, the brick material is now on the outside of the wall. We will use the same technique to locate the position of the two horizontal walls. So in this case, you will select the top horizontal wall. Again, the temporary dimension will appear. You will zoom in order to see the witness line and make sure that it is going to the outside of the stud. You would do the same thing for this witness line of the temporary dimension. Click on the bubble until it reaches the outside of the stud. Then we will make this change to the dimension. So we we'll click on the dimension. In this case, it will be 24 feet. Press enter. Click on the command, convert this to a permanent dimension, click in the white space, click on the dimension, and lock it. So now the all four walls for this, for the exterior walls have been properly located.